Hey guys, so I know the lighting's kind of iffy, but as you guys know, if you just watched my outfit of the day, sorry, I'm fixing my hair, um, you know that I just went shopping with my grandparents, and I just want to show you what I got from there, because I know in the in the next week and weekend, I will have a lot of stuff to show you, and I don't want that to be in one video, because that would be an extremely long video, so I am going to get into what I just bought, um, yeah, everything was purchased by my grandparents, I'm not being sponsored, I have a disclaimer in the info bar down below if anyone wants to look at that or anything like that, but, yeah, so I'm going to start out with the place I got the least things at, well, I got two places that I had the, no, three places that I got the least things at, so the first place I'm going to show you guys is Paxson, and I only got one thing. And the, these were on an amazing deal, and I had to take these because literally they're so cute, and I've never seen something any, like anything as cute as this. So I got these um, pants, which these are by the brand Bullhead Black, and they are just jeans. These were originally $54.50, then they were marked down to $19.99. And I got them for $15, which is a great, great, great steal. So they're like this teal aqua color, and they're really cute, and they're really, really, really distressed. And I love jeans like that. I just love the look of them on me. So I thought they were really cute, and I cannot wait to wear these. And even during the winter time, this color would look amazing with, like, a black t-shirt or, like, a long sleeve white t-shirt. And I feel like that'd be such a cute piece to wear summer, winter, spring, and all kinds of seasons. I feel like that would be amazing. So I got those for $15. Then I went to H&M, like yesterday, where I got two pairs of pants, and I got one thing, and I got this shirt. This was $12.95, and I feel like this would go with the pants I have on today, which is what I got yesterday, and they're from H&M, and they're the hot pink high-waisted shorts or the jeans I just bought, or any, like, amazing, amazing, I feel like this would look so good with anything, and I got this in a size 6, because all the other ones looked either too small, or this was, like, the small size they had, and, um, the size 8, and the size 10, and the size 12 were way huge, I feel like that would, like, just engulf me, so I got this, and it's so cute, and it's just a plain white t-shirt that's, like, chiffon material, almost like silky, and it has a heart with cheetah print inside, and then on the back it has buttons, which I think is really, really cute. I love shirts with that detailing, so I absolutely love this, and sorry if the lighting's kind of iffy. I'm sitting right in front of a window because this is the only place I could film because my sister's side of the room is really a mess because she went shopping as well for her birthday today. Even though our birthday's in February, they, um, we go shopping with my grandparents every year, as I said before, and they didn't get to take her shopping this year. Um, I guess it was just bad planning, so she went birthday shopping with me today, so she got her stuff for her birthday as well, so her bed's filled with stuff as well, so it's kind of a mess, so I only could film, like, right here. So that is the one thing that I got at H&M. Then I went to Abercrombie. And I got one thing. I got a pair of shorts. These were on sale for $20. And I just thought these were so, so, so cute. I got them in a size 14 because the 16 is too big on the waist but fit on the butt. And this one is too, like, they're not too small or anything like that. But they're, they fit just right on the waist. And if I put these in the dryer, they'd be too small on the butt. Like, you could see my butt cheeks. So, I... You have to be careful with these to not wash them, or not to dry them. So I just hang them to dry. But these are what they look like. They're the... Oh, uh, they don't have a name, I don't think. No, they do not. But they're just plain white, and they're distressed. And I just thought these would be really cute with, like, a colorful top or color blocking or something that I have, like, a really loud top or really loud shoes, and I can just neutralize it with a pair of white shorts. So, oh, these were really cute. Originally, these were $39.50, and I got them for $20. So, that was a steal. I only buy things that are on sale at Abercrombie because their things have started to run, like, super expensive. 
Then I got one thing at MAC, which I'm putting this away. And I had so many bags that I actually didn't get a bag. So, um, but I got, I went to Nordstrom and I got an eyeshadow because I'm doing my brother's fiance's makeup for the wedding. And, um, she sent me a look that she wanted her makeup to look like on Facebook. And she sent me a picture and it was really gorgeous, but I had no pink color like it. Because it was like a peachy shade and like the crease in the outer corner and then like a little bit of like a darker brown like as a liner but then smudged up so it looked like it was on the outer corner. So I do not have anything like the pink or the peachy pink color. So I actually went to MAC and I got Mythology and this is like the perfect shade for this. And again it's Mythology and this is a luster. And it's super shimmery which I'm going to have to work with that a little bit but I think it will be perfect. And it is such a pretty kind of golden champagne pinky peach color. And I think this would be absolutely perfect for the wedding look. So that is what I got at MAC. And this was, they raised their prices. Their eyeshadows used to be $14.50 and now they're $15. So I don't know what the problem is. I hope they don't raise any more prices on anything else because MAC is already expensive. So, like, if you buy, like, three eyeshadows, that's, like, that's obscenely expensive for three eyeshadows where you can go to like Sephora and buy a really good brand eyeshadow that's like more pigmented and stuff like that so I don't know I was kind of upset about that but I absolutely love this shade and that is what I got for the wedding and my grandparents um pitched in on this one especially I wasn't going to get this at first but then I told her about the look and she's like well why don't we go look for an eyeshadow like the pink and so that is what we did so she contributed for the wedding. So that wasn't really for my birthday, but, um, then we went to American Eagle, and I got two things. Um, I got this first shirt, and these are both on sale, because I usually, again, um, Abercrombie and American Eagle are those two stores that are kind of, like, pricier, along with Paxson, that I only look at the, um, sale section. So I got this shirt, and this is really, really cute. It says run wild right here by the horses and it has horses and this really pretty tribal print um pattern on it. and I got this in a size small and this was originally twenty four fifty then marked down to fourteen ninety nine then marked down to nine ninety nine and then I got thirty percent off of that. So these this shirt was seven seven ninety nine. So I absolutely love this shirt and I thought that'd be really cute with the jeans I bought or the white pair of shorts or my hot pick hot pink high-waisted shorts, my black high-waisted shorts. It, I just kept thinking of all the kinds of outfits that I could wear with that. Along with this shirt, this shirt was originally $24.50, then marked down to $14.99, then marked down to $9.99, and this was also $7.99. And this is what this one look like, looks like. I got this in a bigger size because I thought it could be like off the shoulder a little bit more slouchy and I can wear with the bandeau because it is a little bit see-through. So I thought this shirt would be really versatile and adorable. And it just has a bunch of tribal prints that says live a free life. And it's in like a really light gray color. And I thought this would be super cute and it's really comfy. So I had to pick that up. Um, and my sister got a few things from there as well as well as H&M. Um, then I went to Bath and Body Works and this is the last place I went to. Um, and I got a few, I got four things. They're still having their semi-annual sale because, um, I think that goes on for, like, two weeks or something. So, um, I was really excited to see that they were really ran out of a lot of things. And, um, a lot of their sale stuff was gone. So, it was really minimal to choose from, but the prices on things were amazing. So, I got a medium-sized candle because they have the mini sizes, which are, like, this big. And they're in, like, the glass containers now. They used to be in plastic containers. And then there's this size and then there's a three wick size. So this is I guess in the middle or medium or whatever. This was originally nine fifty and I got it for four dollars and it's in the scent coconut leaves. It says wander in a lush Caribbean garden with this blend of coconut and citrus with watery jasmine and peach blossom. So this is what the packaging looks like which I think is so adorable for summertime. And it smells so good. I really can't describe it. It definitely smells like coconut, and it smells, I definitely smell, like, the peach-iness in it, 
So, I really, really like this candle, and I love the color of it, so I'm just going to put this in my room like I did with the Island Colada, and just leave it open and let kind of like the scent go through, because sometimes I do that till it really has no scent to give off anymore, because it kind of gets worn out doing that. So, then I start burning it, because it's just an easier way, and you get more out of the candle than just burning it and losing a lot of wax. So, yeah. I love that, and that was only $4. Then I got three lip products, and then that is all. So the first lip product I got was the Honeylicious. Um, these are by the brand Liplicious, and it's a in honey-infused lip balm, and this is in the um, scent or shade or whatever, Honey Apple. And that's what it looks like, and it's in really, really cute packaging. This was $2. Originally, oh, I'm not sure... Let me check the price on this. Um, oh, here we go. Originally $8. Then marked down to $6. Then it was $2. And this smells really nice. It's like a light pink -y red color. And there's definitely not much color payoff on this. No, there's like nothing but... It smells really good, and it looks really pretty. It gives, like, a really nice gloss to the lips, and it's really moisturizing. And usually I don't buy lip balms, but this is only $2, and it smells really, really good. So I picked this up. Then I got two of the um, C.O. Bigelow um, menthol lip tints, and I'm going to put this so I have more room because I have, like, no room on my bed right now. Okay. So anyways, I got two of these lip glosses. These were originally $7.50, and I got them each for $2. So the first one I got I actually already opened because I put it on my lips when we were done with lunch, and it is in the color Violet Mint. And this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. It's like a light lavender-y, well, light plum violet shade, and it smells like straight up mint and it's really really pretty it's very sheer so it doesn't come out as harsh as it is in the tube and I just thought this would be really nice for a fall time and it was only two dollars so why not then I got this one which is a darker lip gloss which I would definitely wear in the um wintry fall time but I thought I could work with it and if I wore like a red lipstick this would look really pretty over top um so, or maybe I wear a really, really bold orange lip that I could just apply um, as over top to kind of tone it down. It's really sheer. And this is in the shade, hold on. I'm going to get this off so I can swatch it for you guys to show you guys how much it's not as harsh as it looks. And this is in the shade Plum Mint, which is a really nice plummy red color with like brownish goldy shimmer in it. So the line is kind of iffy, so it like appears darker than it is. I'm gonna try to swatch this as good as I can, cause it all like goes back. Okay, I got it. And that's what it looks like. It's a really sheer kind of red orange color, and I thought that'd be really, really, really pretty over like a really bold orange lip, or maybe on its own during the fall time or over a red lipstick. I feel like. This would be really nice with everything, and it would just kind of pop up a really neutral, natural look. So, that is all I got on my trip. This was 14 minutes long, and I'm sorry if you have to sit through this. I will either link in the down bar um, my last birthday haul and my outfit of the day, or um, the birthday haul is the third video down now that I'm uploading this, and the outfit of the day is the second video down. Now that I'm uploading this on my uploads. So you guys can go check this out. Obviously, if you're already watching this, this is my first video on the uploads. Um, but yeah, and I'm actually wearing my new foundation. And it is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. And I'm so excited to use this because I used it today. And it gives amazing coverage. And with all the things that it came with, I used the primer that it came with, the brush that it came with, the powder that it came with, and the foundation. And it all looks amazing on my skin and I'm so happy I purchased that even though it was a little bit pricey the kit 
Um, it definitely was worth it. So if you want to try out some Makeup Forever face products and you've never tried their products before ever, I definitely suggest getting the Complexion Starter Kit because it looks so good. I had to mention that. <coughs> That's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.